Hello everyone! Welcome back to Out of Our Mains, the podcast where we're out of our mains and you probably are too, because you're listening to two helpless colorful horse addicts ramble on about a show uh, about cartoon ponies for little girls. I forgot the intro. <laughs> I'm really excited for this episode. We got a lot of great news. Yeah, so in, in case you're wondering why we have another episode uh, so soon after the last one, um, there was some crazy stuff dropped um in these past few days um so this is i believe this is actually episode 111 yeah like it's it's 2025 already yeah we've been doing this for like what four years yeah this is my wife's a... pregnant with our firstborn i'm excited yeah oh my gosh i, I i'm so excited for you in that yeah. No. Um. But that aside, um, we've got plenty of news to cover today. Um, it's absolutely like I never thought this day would come, but we got just so much news in such a short period of time. Uh, so, I know. So usually it's like dry as hell. Yeah. Uh. Lately, like you know, with with how things have been going with the series, it's it's. Yeah, um, I honestly still surprised we're still doing this with where things are, but here we are. Um, so for the first announcement, we do have um a bit of a bit of sad news. Uh, if you if you were one of those people who were a fan of it, um, Generation Five is canceled. Anyways, moving on. Um, so uh, there, there's something pretty big going on as well. Um, after that, um, Generation Six has been announced. Like it was announced. It was announced. Like, I never... Literally, literally, the day that they canceled Generation Five, they dropped this announcement, and we I haven't know. we haven't seen like any trailers or anything for this. Um, but we have gotten. A cast list and some of the some of the people who are actually working on this project. So Generation Six was actually announced. Um, we haven't got yeah. any we haven't gotten any trailers or anything, but we do know some things about it, including the subtitle. Yeah, the subtitle um, was I believe it was Gen Guns Are Amazing. Yeah, yeah, like it must be like some kind of like gun safety kind of thing, which I'm all for. Like you know, gun safety is important. It's very important. It's very um, important. Yeah, with uh, yeah, you know, um, just you know, too many but people. With, just, what with World War Five going on right now? Too many people just don't know, you know, how to how to operate a firearm. Um, yeah, I, um, I think it's it, gonna be pretty cool though. They even dropped the release date, which is crazy. Like you, they usually don't drop the release date that soon. Yeah, I mean, like it's it's December right now, um, but we're you know we're we're coming up on it. Um, it's actually coming out uh, April thirty first. Um, yeah, twenty twenty six. That's very soon. If they literally, it's insane that they dropped this announcement so like. They, they dropped this announcement just out of nowhere and a release date of what four months it's incredible i know like then again technology has advanced a bit with cg like god they're like robots at this point it's it's kind of crazy but uh yeah. i'm surprised they haven't replaced us yet yeah right? um yeah the, the there was also it's also being written directed and produced entirely by the legend M.A. Larson himself everyone's favorite you writer from G4 everyone's yep. favorite writer from G4 like I, I was surprised he didn't uh get a chance to do anything in uh G5 um honestly probably why G5 took such a such a bad turn around season 3 oh my yeah. gosh yeah uh. <sighs> I, uh, it was so disappointing. Yeah, can't believe they killed off Sunny like that. The show couldn't exist without Sunny. After that, it just the spirit was gone. Um, I'm surprised they had the balls to kill her off. Yeah, honestly, the the show took kind of like a darker turn. It was is uh, yeah, but anyways, there's this weird subtext about drugs too. But I won't get into that. Yeah, 
But, uh, but, so, this new series is going to be entirely made by M.A. Larson with, uh, songs from, uh, uh, a popular pony artist from back in the day who, who kind of strayed away from, uh, pony stuff, but is coming back into it. Uh, The Living Tombstone is actually, uh, doing the soundtrack for this new generation, which is insane. Uh, it's, yeah. it's crazy how far Even... he's come. Yeah. I mean, yeah. like, he is a, like, he's a top-level producer nowadays. Like, Yeah, like, it's crazy that he's come back to the fandom just for this. Yeah. Like, then again, like, he started with it, so maybe maybe he's feeling sentimental. I, I mean, either way, like, I'm I respect him coming it, back. Honestly. Yeah. It, it they blows, even announced, it blows they even my announced mind. New Main 6 as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, we actually got, um, we actually got the cast list for the, uh, for the new main six, and, uh, it is a, it is a bunch of characters, let me tell you. So, they're, they're bringing back some, some old characters from, uh, from, uh, G4. Um. Yeah. So, to start off, our, our new main character is actually gonna be, uh, everyone's favorite Draconicus, uh, Discord. Uh, yeah. Who, who was he being played by again? Um, well, I would have thought it was John Delancey, but, like, I'm surprised to see that they hired someone new. They hired Jesse McCartney. Yeah, oh my gosh. And then, uh... Um, I mean, what were you gonna say? Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, yeah, it's crazy, like... God, like, I, I wouldn't think Jesse McCartney could do Discord, but, you know, maybe he can. Yeah, well, we'll just have to see. Um, and then, uh, uh, one of the other main characters is, uh, is Boulder. Um, yeah, Mons, Mons Mon from D four. Yeah, I guess he's yeah, um, I guess he's coming out to to make his big debut. Um, so uh, Boulder is going to be played by uh, Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Uh, yeah, a little bit of funny wordplay there. Um, but uh, yeah, but I, I think I, Hasbro knows what they're doing. Yeah, with that one, they knew what they were doing. Yeah, they they knew what they did. But I I think I think we should give him a shot. Um, yeah, for that role. I mean Dwayne. Uh, the Rock is pretty good at acting, um, so I'm looking forward to that. I mean, yeah, he's he's been in a lot of things, and too. and Boulder has had some really great character arcs in G4, so yeah. maybe maybe we'll get something good. Maybe we'll get something amazing. Maybe we'll come back to some stuff from there, but uh, we'll we'll talk more about coming back to G4 later. Uh, stay tuned. Um, <clears throat> the next uh, the next main character. Uh, is actually uh, Cozy Glow, also from from G Four. Uh, yeah, I was surprised. Like I thought they were. I thought Cozy Glow was in Stone. Yeah, I like they didn't do anything with her in G Five, so I guess they thought this was the time to bring her back. I don't know exactly how they're gonna explain it. Are we, um, are we gonna get like a redemption arc? Like like Discord was taken out of Stone to redeem him. Is she gonna get a redemption arc? Maybe that'd be kind of cool. Yeah, I, I guess we'll just have to see. Um, but. Uh, Cozy Glow is being played by uh, uh, by the famous Jack Black, Jablinski. The legendary Jack Black himself. Yeah. Um, I'm Skadoosh. I'm super excited for that. Jack Black is one of my favorite uh, actors of all time, and I think yeah. he's, I think he's going to do an incredible uh, an incredible job playing Cozy Glow in this in this new upcoming series. Oh I just, yeah. I just can't wait to hear his golly G. But, uh, <laughs> anyways. Yeah, so this was another character. I was really surprised, because, like, they're bringing Grogar back. Like, and not, like, the Discord stuff. No, like, the actual Grogar from Generation 1. Yeah, I mean, like, it, it, it can't be, like, a, a fake one, because Discord is yeah, one of the Dis other main characters. Yeah, yeah so it's, it's crazy. Like, Grogar's coming back as a main character. Like, I would have thought he couldn't be redeemed, but... You know, maybe ha maybe M.A. Larson has something planned. Like, he is the greatest writer of our generation, so... Oh my gosh, I, I'm, like, I'm incredibly proud of him, too. Like, with all the screenwriting he's done for all those, like, big-name Disney movies uh, as of late. It, as as you all know, he was actually the uh, the main director on uh, Star Wars Episode 59. Like, um, and honestly, like... Out of all the entries that have come out since the original trilogy, like that one was the first one that I actually like really enjoyed. Um, yeah, fifty nine felt like the original like episode. It felt four. like a comeback, like, didn't it? 
It, yeah, it felt like they really went back to their roots with that. Yeah, Lar Larson just did such a good job, and so I'm I'm so looking forward to him coming back to uh, to MLP and uh, doing this. Um, moving on, another character. Oh, uh, we didn't actually say who's playing Grogar. Yeah, yeah. Um, and this is a uh, someone who is a. Uh, pretty well known actually um selena gomez is playing grogar like you, it's again like they're getting so many big name actors for this uh for yeah. generation six i haven't seen anything from selena gomez in like forever but like for her to make yeah. this her debut back um back to the mainstream of things i i think it's i think it's gonna be I great yeah, I just I respect the decision for that. I'm ecstatic for She's it. Probably getting paid a lot as well. And uh, one one character I did I did not expect to see again, but I'm super glad to see back is uh, Thistle Whistle is going to be a main character. She was a character from uh, the older generations before uh, before G4. Uh, mm -hmm. My uh, the place I remember her from was uh, was the G3 movie um, A Very Minty Christmas. Uh, she was kind of a big role in that movie, uh, but she's making a comeback in this movie, and uh, she's actually playing herself in this yeah. uh, in this new generation, which is it's crazy that they got her back after all these yeah. years. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I'm, and, uh, I'm excited to see one last whistle. person that I am ecstatic to see in this movie. You and I both we saw this and we were just like, bro, no way! You mean this? Like, you mean like, this generation? Yeah, in this gen, like in this generation, no, we saw the no, no spoilers. We saw it in the we yeah, but like we saw this character, we saw this person that was in Generation Six, and you and I were freaking the hell out when we saw that. I am a massive fan of this character, and I'm so glad that they they finally decided to bring him in uh, to the MLP uh, series. I've thought that this this series needed a crossover with MLP um, ever since I first started watching. Um, uh, G4. So, Robbie Rotten is going to be, uh, the last of our, uh, of our cast here, and he's going yeah. to be played by the mayor. Yeah, the mayor! Like, it's crazy! First they, they decide to get Robbie Rotten in here, and then they're getting, they're being voiced by the mayor of all people! I'm, I'm, like, like mind blown. And- Yeah, like, when we saw that announcement, you and I were freaking, like- they must have spent, like, a fortune to get him in there! Yeah, oh my gosh, he is a big name nowadays. Oh. Yeah. Um, I was so shocked by that that my voice cracked. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, but I'm, I'm, I'm very excited to see what work he can do and how, how well he can portray this character. Um, because, yeah, Robbie yeah. Rotten is a, is a favorite of mine. Um. Yeah, and a lot of people. Yeah. So... Um, be on the lookout for that. Also, oh, I almost forgot, uh, most important part. So, apparently, the first episode is, uh, is getting a guest appearance of, uh, Twilight Sparkle is going to show up. Yeah! In the very first episode. Yeah. Um, played by none other than Chris Pratt. Yeah! It's crazy! I mean, he's, he's, he's been in, ever since... Um, what was the first movie that, that, like, Chris Pratt showed up in that he, like, that he started showing up in everything from? Um, uh, I think it was, uh, I want to say it was the Mar- I would 21. think it was the Mario movie? Yeah, yeah, so, I, oh, yeah. God, that movie, I, I, I remember that movie. I didn't expect it to be very good, but it was incredible. But this is, yeah. this is, um, Chris, this is the like, Pony Podcast. You, Chris, Chris, well, I just gotta say, Chris Pratt in that movie- like, oh, I was brought to tears by his performance. Mamma Mia, he did an incredible performance. Yeah, but you know, this isn't a this isn't a podcast about movies, it's about my little pony. Let's get back on the topic. Bro, but that ballad between him and Bowser, oh my gosh. Oh my god, yeah. It's surprising though. Like Jack Black is playing Cozy Glow, and we got Chris Pratt. They both were in the Mario movie. Yeah, so uh so maybe we'll we'll see some sort of interaction. Maybe maybe there'll be a a, a little back and forth, but we don't know since uh she's only gonna be in the first episode, so um yeah but um so stay tuned for that uh we're gonna be keeping you guys updated uh on generation six um i am yeah I i'm excited for this i think this is gonna be the best generation yeah. yet 
Oh yeah, that's a, it has a lot to compete with. Like Generation Four was like just a masterpiece. Like yeah, and like they have to compete with that. But just with the cast alone, I think they're gonna top it. Oh yeah, it, it it's gonna be hard. But with with this cast of uh of people, like it, I don't know, man. And M. A. Larson writing it. Yeah, I I think it's gonna blow it out of the water. This this is probably going to be the best show of our generation like oh yeah the best show probably in this century um but only time will tell we, we can't know for sure but i have high hopes for this um yeah anyways though um moving on from that um we did actually get an announcement uh we so we record we decided to record this episode when generation six was announced but in the time that we started talking about doing another episode and we actually started recording they dropped a trailer for a uh -huh. movie that yeah they dropped it like it was weird like they they really dro they dropped it on us specifically i was like, i was like about to hit the record button like i scoured youtube this trailer didn't come in they contacted us they, and they sent us this trailer. They directly emailed us um, at outofourmains at gmail.com. Um, <laughs> so be sure to nice. hit us up there if you have any business inquiries like this. So um, we're unfortunately not allowed to reveal uh, this trailer. So we got the entire the entire cast of this movie was, was shown at the end of the trailer. Um, and let me tell you, that trailer was incredible i can't wait for it to officially come out so, yeah so like we don't we don't know exactly who's playing who like everyone but we we have a handful we have a good handful of who's playing who yeah we we got some uh some specifics on on some of the actors and i think you guys are going to be pleasantly surprised by some of the people that they got on board for this um this is actually a live action recreation of generation four of all nine seasons coalesced into one yeah. three hour eleven minute movie. Uh like I saw like I I saw Grogar in there. Like I think I saw yeah. uh, I, I think I saw Shining Armor in the background. Can you, you talk about how awesome the music was in the trailer? Oh my gosh. So um I I don't know exactly who did the like the background music, but we did get confirmation that like the score like the official like the vault the um uh what is it the actual songs that are being like performed in this movie are all written by lin-manuel miranda of disney yeah Fame. he's uh, doing such a phenomenal job oh my gosh just as you all know um hasbro did get acquired by uh by disney last year um uh-huh and um the craziest thing about this, Marvel Studios is the one producing this movie. Yeah, and not like, and, and you remember, like, I was freaked. I freaked out because at the beginning, we saw that not just the Marvel Studios, logo, it was the Marvel Cinematic Studio, the Marvel Cinematic Universe logo. Yeah. So apparently, My Little Pony is going to be in the official uh, canon for the Marvel Cinematic Universe, which is just. Oh my gosh. I'm yeah. I am incredibly blown back. Uh it it So okay, let's 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 get you some of the cast member. I know you guys are itching to hear hear what this is. So as as we stated, it is going to be all seasons of the show. They are going to recap everything that happened from seasons 1 to 9. I don't know how they're going to fit that into 3 hours and 11 minutes, but like I'm I, I'm excited to see uh, where yeah. this goes. Hopefully, it doesn't feel I too mean, rushed. Um, but Disney Disney is really like Disney is perfect, absolutely flawless when it comes to its movies. So I think they're gonna do a great job. They've doing never this. had a bad movie. Ever. Yeah, they haven't had a bad movie in years. Yeah. Um, so uh, for for some of the casting, we got we got the main characters. Um, we got all all of the main characters and who's playing them. Um, and, uh, we'll, 
So we're going to go ahead and put uh, a full list of all the characters that are appearing in this uh, in the description. Um, and when, when we get all the casting for it, we'll, we'll go ahead and update the description with who's playing them all. Um, but, uh, to start for the main, for, for the main six, so, um, as we mentioned before, Chris Pratt is making a guest appearance in Generation 6 as Twilight Sparkle. And, um, he's also playing Twilight Sparkle for this series, or for the, for this movie, sorry. There's a series yeah. and a movie it's yeah bound to trip up um, yeah, yeah yeah but uh yeah he's he's playing twilight in this uh movie and i was pretty surprised i had imagine it's gonna come out after g6 drops so like he's basically reprising his role which you know fair play like fair enough yeah, yeah. um we we yeah. haven't gotten an official date on when this movie is coming out so i assume it's going to be after generation six starts um but yeah so so we got Chris yeah. Pratt reprising uh, as Twilight Sparkle. Um, who 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 was uh, Rainbow Dash played by again? Uh, Rainbow Dash is played by the impeccable Seth Rogen. Oh goodness, I I feel like they just okay. Some of these some of these castings, like you guys are going to be mind blown. Like they're like matches made in heaven. They're like perfect oh. for these roles. Uh, like yeah, Seth Rogen as Rainbow Dash. Like that's the only way I can imagine Rainbow Dash now. Like I yeah, I can I, I can already picture the laugh. Oh my it's gosh, glorious! Yeah, as as he comes, <laughs> up, comes up with the cloud and and uh, you know rains on Twilight, and then we get that classic yeah. Seth Rogen laugh. Uh, it's it's gonna be incredible. Um, then Applejack. Uh, is going to be played by uh, Demi Lovato. Oh, yeah, which, Demi Lovato's coming back to the acting scene too. I I thought that was a pretty interesting pick, um, but we'll we'll have to see. You know, uh, I can I can I can kind of see it. I can kind of see it. Yeah, yeah. I I think it I think it should work out pretty well. And um, actually, uh, Pinkie and, Pie is is played by a familiar face, uh, Andrea Lipman. Yeah, is so coming back. we have someone we have yeah we yeah Andrea is reprising. Her role is Pinkie Pie, and I was really happy. Like I, like Andrea is so talented. Yeah, uh, I, I'm so excited um, to to see her. Um, and keep in mind, um, all of this is a live action movie. Um, this this is a live action recreation of all the events of G4. So we're gonna see actual like Andrea Lidman on screen as Pinkie Pie, which is, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Speaking of people that. We want to see on screen as their character. Keanu Reeves is showing up in this movie as Rarity. And yeah, like, again, I can't think of a better match for a character. Like, Keanu Reeves is fabulous. Rarity's fabulous. Keanu Reeves is breathtaking. You're breathtaking. Like, it, yeah, it's match made in heaven. It's it's going to be great. I'm yeah. Uh, I'm so looking forward to it. Yeah. And finally, I was pretty excited. Yeah, I was pretty excited for this one too because oh. this one, Fluttershy is going to be playing Gabriel Brown, the Black Griffin. So uh, I'm so excited for it. A the actual Fluttershy is going to be playing uh, Gabriel Brown in this in this movie. So it like I don't know how they got her um, to perform as him. Um, it but. Whatever magic they worked, like it, Disney probably made like a some like alternate universe hopper or whatever. Yeah, yeah, I suppose so. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be great. Um, so looking forward to that. Um, as well as we have uh we have Danny DeVito actually reprising his role as uh Spike, and I like yeah I I think it's a great comeback for him. Uh, I, I'm excited to uh, yeah. I'm surprised he's coming back to reprise his role. Like I, I thought he would be busy with his other movies. Yeah, like I uh, I mean that that Detective Pikachu sequel where they actually got him to play Pikachu in the movie. Like oh my gosh, I I thought the day yeah. would never come. I thought the day would never come. Yeah. But, uh, but here we are. Um. This is this is the timeline we live in, apparently. So, the best timeline. Yeah, 
so looking forward to, to him playing Spike. And, and speaking of actors from the Marvel Cinematic Universe, um, we've got Starlight Glimmer is going to be played by uh, Robert Downey Jr. of Iron Man fan. Yeah. So yeah, that's awesome. I, I, I think that's a really good, like, you know, I, I think that works really well. They're, the character that he plays in Tony Stark is very similar to uh, how Starlight how Starlight acted in the original G four. Yeah, um, and I heard I heard they're gonna make an Iron Man reference with with Starlight. Yeah, I'm I'm wondering what's what's gonna happen there. I mean, like she was the like you saw in the trailer when like you know like the the lights went out and you saw like that greenish glow that that came around those like those scraps of metal. Like yeah, uh, when, after the lights turned out, G I gave me goosebumps. I I I think I think that might be the iron. I, I think I think Starlight. I I don't want to make any like left field predictions, but if I'm gonna make one, I think Starlight's gonna get a mech. Oh, that'd be awesome. I I think that would be awesome. And finally, uh, for our last main character, uh, in this movie. Uh, Gummy is going to be portrayed by Patrick Warburton. Uh, yeah. Which is yet another, like, just perfect, perfect match for an actor yeah. and character. Yeah, when I look at Gummy, I always imagine Patrick Warburton. Yeah. My gosh. Remember that scene in the trailer? He had the shoulder devils like Kronk. That was awesome. Oh my gosh, yeah. I, like, I'm I'm so excited for this. I'm so excited for this movie, but we we have actually a few more um, we have a few more characters that we got uh, we got voice actors. So the the CMC are actually going to uh, they are still going to be making an appearance in this movie. Uh, unfortunately, they're not going to have as big an impact. They're they're not going to be like near main characters like they were in uh, in the original G four, um, but they are going to be there. Um, and um and we've got a cast we we have an absolute cast of people playing these playing uh playing sweetie bell apple bloom and scootaloo yeah oh gosh like i was i was jaw dropped when i saw that cast it's just perfect just sweetie bell is a uh, like they they chose leonardo dicaprio to represent to to play sweetie bell i like when i heard that my mind like couldn't process it for a second. I was like Leonardo DiCaprio as Sweetie Belle. Like you wouldn't think that would work, but when you think about when it, when you think about yeah, it, yeah, it does work. Yeah, I like ugh, man. I'm so excited um, for the interactions between uh, between DiCaprio and uh, Keanu Reeves. Like, I, oh I, yeah, I, I I think they'll I think they'll do great together. Um, I think they can really portray that like that sisterly bond. Um, oh yeah, really well. Then uh, Apple Bloom. Apple Bloom's gonna be played by uh, Weird Al Yankovic. Yeah, uh, best known for his role as Cheese Sandwich. Yeah. So um, unfortunately, I don't believe Cheese Sandwich is going to be making an appearance in this movie. Probably because Weird Al is is already going to be yeah. playing a character. Yeah, um, they, 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 I'd imagine they're gonna at least name drop him. Yeah, we'll we'll see. Um, I mean, maybe like at the end of the movie. Um, God, I'm just imagining like a live action version of that ending scene in G four. Oh, oh that, that that's that's gonna uh, the original one like already like made me cry. Like I I really don't want to cry again, but at the same time, I feel like I'm going to when I see it. There's not. Like, I, I can't imagine there would be a dry eye in the audience in the entire theater. Yeah. Um, if you have a dry eye when we're doing that, you you are actually heartless. Yeah. Well, we'll we'll just see how good it is. But considering yeah. this is all produced by Marvel Studios, like uh, I expect it's going it to be incredible. wonderful. Yeah. Um. Oh my gosh. And I'm just imagining like a cover of "The Magic of Friendship Grows" by Lin Manuel Miranda. Oh like, my god, that sounds awesome! It's, it, oh my gosh, please. But if he makes his own original composition for that ending, that would be great too. Uh, but yeah. like I, I, the the cogs are turning in my head. I'm I'm so excited. Um, yeah. Speaking of the the like 
the darker uh, I just want to mention like we saw in the trailer like we heard that like that darker tone of the the My Little Pony theme like it was like in minor and it was like yeah. it had all these like the, these string instruments I can't wait for treated, this yeah, trailer it was treated to like a horror public. movie yeah. Uh, yeah I I don't know what's what's going to go on there um cuz <sighs> Because the rest of the trailer didn't seem very, like, horror-esque, but, um... Yeah, but... there's, like, that one scene where it was getting all horror, horror-esque, and, like, it was, it was, it gave me chills. Like, I got, I got genuinely creeped out. Well, like, when you, like, oh my gosh, like, when the Pony of Shadows popped up. Oh, maybe that was the Pony of Shadows. I've, no, it was, I'm pretty sure. It, it looked, yeah. it looked just like him. Yeah, um, it, it probably it probably was unless they unless you know unless they throw a curveball. Yeah, I, I guess we'll see. But the the CG in that scene was incredible. Um, yeah. Anyways, we we should probably get uh, back to the casting. So um, the last member of the CMC, uh, Scootaloo, is going to be played by uh, Felix Shelberg, or AKA PewDiePie. Yeah, better known as PewDiePie. I'm surprised um, they got PewDiePie, world famous YouTuber. Like he has he has. Yeah. Uh, Head of the nine-year-old army. He, he he's long retired by now. It's been a few years uh, since he's since he's made any YouTube videos. But uh, I'm surprised he's getting into acting now. I, I guess maybe this is just the next step for him. Is um, this his debut? Uh, this is his debut. He hasn't been in a movie at all, as far as I'm aware. Yeah. Um. Other than a few like guest appearances. Um. But uh. But he he hasn't played like an actual like character in a in a movie yet so i'm excited to see how he does yeah. as scootaloo this is totally gonna kick off his career i can already tell yeah it's it's gonna be phenomenal um so also we wanted to mention so uh discord was announced for the g6 uh series um played by jesse mccartney but they actually got someone else for the uh the g4 movie um so Will Smith is going to be playing Discord, uh, yeah, in this, which, like, I mean, after his performance as as the genie all those years back in Aladdin, like, I, yeah. I can just I can just picture it going perfectly. Um, yeah, so excited for that. Um, and then we have um, oh, who who was who. Who else did we get? Who else did we uh, get? We got mod. We got mods as well because they didn't get, like they didn't give us every like supporting character cast list. Just a few noteworthy ones. Yeah. Um, and we have mod who uh, um who's being played by Charlie White of all people. Yeah, Moist Critical. Um. Yeah, best known for his performance in the Hunger Games. Yes. Yeah. The the Moist Man himself. Um. I. Yeah. And, I, yeah. I feel like he's like a. Uh, he's I, destined to play mod. I've said that a lot of these characters were like perfect matches, but if if all of these actors had to change and one of them had to stay, it would have to be Charlie White as mod because it, it's yeah, just, it's just too perfect. Yeah, his perfor his performances in like Hunger Games, they were like they were emotional, like. So like having I him just out, I like, weep. Yeah, like I I up. weeped too. Like like the thing is like having him as like a supporting character is just the best choice because he when he gets a character he he rolls with it. He he goes far. He's like a method actor, and it's great. I'm I'm so excited. Um, he 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 just does an incredible job. Um, he was, I, I didn't actually see it, but I heard he was in the, uh, he was in the Beyblade movie that came out a few years ago. Um. Yeah. So that was, that was really cool. I saw that, that was great. You did? Oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. he, he, he did a, he did a great job. I, I never, I never got around to watching it, but I'll, maybe, maybe I'll have to, maybe I'll have to. Yeah, he totally, he carried the movie. Gotcha. All right, as well as um we got um we got Granny Smith. Um Yeah. Now, who who was playing Granny Smith? Uh it was a very surprising choice as well. Much like everything else, this is a very surprising choice. They chose Saber Spark to play Granny Smith. 
Oh yeah. So Saber Spark uh, of YouTube fame is going to also uh, be making an appearance. They got a lot of big YouTubers here. Um, yeah, but he has he has some connections in the fandom. He is still going to pony conventions to this day, despite not making I know. Pony content in years. I know. He he seemed like he was hiding something. He seemed kind of shifty, you know. Yeah, he 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 seemed kind of quiet lately. So I yeah, I I've seen him perform as Granny Smith in Hooves Line. I think he's going to do a phenomenal job here. He, he has a spot-on impression. Yes, it's it's incredible. It's, like, his spin on Granny Smith is just, like, one of my favorites, so I'm excited to see him actually make an appearance on the big screen. As well as, yeah. this one took... This one took us both aback. I... Oh, yeah. I believe this is why they contacted us first. Because, as you guys know, we are the... We are the most popular... Um, Pony News podcast um, at the moment. Yeah. Um, yeah, not 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 to like you know sound like we're bragging or anything. No, yeah, we're yeah. Very grateful. Yeah, we're we're incredibly humbled by this position, and we're um, we're yeah we're incredibly grateful for this, and I'm incredibly grateful for this opportunity that they presented. Um, they're having me play as Trixie Lulamoon in this movie. <sighs> Wait, really? You didn't tell me that? Yeah, it was in the email. Did I not? I thought I did. You didn't bring the... No, you didn't. You didn't tell me that. Awesome! Yeah, I'm going to be playing Trixie in this. So, um, I, I'm super excited for this. I, I sent them, like, I, I sent them a, um, uh, an audition reel, um, like, way back when for a completely different character, um, for a, a different movie. I because of you know company secrets and everything i can't i can't reveal that um yeah contracts but they decided to cast me as as trixie so i i she wasn't stated to be a main character so i'm assuming i'm just gonna get some minor roles in this but uh you can look forward to uh to seeing me there um yeah, you have to tell me how the how the the whole recording process is because that sounds like so much what, fun. Whatever I can, because um, you know, again, contracts and stuff. Like, I would say after the movie comes out, tell me how it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but we'll keep. Well, despite me being in it, it's going to be incredibly hard to to keep secrets about this movie. But we'll we'll uh, we'll just talk about things that have been public knowledge on this podcast. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, unfortunately, you're not going to get any behind-the-scenes news from me uh, until after the movie. I'll, I'll probably uh, go into what, what the process was like after the movie comes out. Um, yeah. But, um, <clears throat> anyways, uh, we have just a few more uh, to mention. So, um, one of the things we saw in there, we didn't see a specific character... Um, but we heard that George Washington, the first president of the United States of America, is making a guest appearance in this movie. I know, like, I, I can't believe, they must have spent uh, so much money to get George Washington in it. So many dimes, like. I know. Goodness. Um, but, like, uh, I don't know who he's gonna play. Um, but if, if we do get that information, uh, we will, we will go ahead and, again, we're going to be updating this description, um, with this. Yeah. All, but, there, um. There have also been some rumors going around about, like, potential cast members, one of them being Gordon Ramsay, which I was, I was really surprised to see that he was a rumored to be in the movie, too. I'm excited, because this, because, as you guys have probably heard, this is, this stuff has been talked about on 4chan for the past month or so. Um, yeah, and uh, all these people are having these, like, or, like, there's, like, rumors, like, rumors, like, oh, I don't know. Like, like there's so many people are saying that, oh, this person's appearing, that person's appearing. The one that caught my eye was going to Ramsey, because that sounds like such an out of, just, like, a far reach, but at the same time, I wouldn't be opposed to it. I, I think he could do a phenomenal job on this. I, I think he, he fits perfectly well with the rest of these cast members, and uh, I, I'm just excited to see him in the world of Equestria. Yeah. As well as we have, we have one more um, we have one more to talk about. Um, 
we have one more character and cast member to mention. Um, what character was it? Uh, uh well, we also have, we we also were given like the royals as well, like the princesses. Oh yeah, yeah. I almost I almost skipped them. Completely. We'll we'll save that we'll save that for last. We'll yeah, save that yeah, for last. So, so um, we also got this this character. I remember this character. This one. Um, it was uh, Big Macintosh. Remember, it was an email. Um, oh yes, and yeah, yeah. Th they they brought in Mark Fishbach, Markiplier himself. Yeah, I I almost uh, I can't believe I almost forgot that. Uh, yeah, like the YouTube fame they brought onto this. The like this is going to be the biggest movie of like, uh, I don't even know. This is going to be the biggest movie ever. Uh, not of anything, just ever. I can't. Yeah. I can't imagine a movie being it's go, it's any going, more ambitious. It's going to this. outsell. It's going to outsell like the top movies. Yeah. Um. Like Av Avatar four, like came out a while ago and just smashed the box the box office. Yeah, but I I can't see this movie not absolutely destroying it. Um. Yeah. I am just. I'm, I'm so excited for this movie and uh uh for the. The last bit of actors um, that we have today. Um, yeah, we're saving these for last because these were just like I know I keep saying like we, our minds were blown, but these like we we actually like we were in a call we were looking at we had to like take a step back and like actually like process this. I like, was the, flummoxed. Like oh yeah, I was like I was freaking out. Like I so I had to, like I think I think we gosh. should save Celestia and Luna for last. So yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, Cadence or uh, Princess Miyamura Cadenza uh, is going to be played by none other but then Toby Maguire. I know, the like I was crazy. Too. I I love Toby Maguire. He's such a good actor. Uh, he's such and a big part of my childhood. This, this was I'm I'm on, I'm like a broken record, but this was a case where I didn't see it at first, but then I thought about it and I was like, yeah, it does work. It's. It, I, I feel like he's gonna do great, as well as a uh, uh, shining armor, um, is going to be played by Arnold Schwarzenegger. I know, like Arnold is a the phenomenal Terminator actor, himself, the Governor himself. Yeah, uh, <laughs> like he's gonna do a great job. I think I, I, I'm looking forward to this. I I think he can. He's probably gonna portray like a sort of like. Um, a drill sergeant, almost shining armor. Yeah, I can, I can see it. I can I, see I, it. I can't it's wait. For it's him a different. To... It's a different take, but you know what? It could work. Yeah, I can't wait for him to whip the royal guard into shape. Um, yeah. And now for Celestia and Luna. Ooh, I'm excited for these two. So Celestia, Princess Celestia, is being played by Morgan Freeman. They got the legend himself in this movie like out of all of these all of them are legends but out of all of them i think morgan freeman he probably is like has the biggest you know he's the, like one of the biggest statuses for legend like like it's crazy and speaking of legends uh luna and nightmare moon um are going to be played by samuel l jackson all oh, right samuel l jackson too which is like having those two Oh my gosh, it's it's incredible. I ah. I, I can't wait for this. I uh, I know. I hope you guys are as excited for this movie as we are. Um so um we're not exactly sure when the trailer is going to drop, but I'm going to assume fairly soon since they're letting us talk about this. It might even be out by the time uh, this episode goes out. Um Yeah, it might be. But go ahead, uh, be sure to, to check that out on, yeah. uh, um, on, on YouTube. Um, it'll oh be shit, on hold on, I forgot. I forgot. There, 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 is, there is also one more actor. I don't know who they're playing, but Chris McClain is also <gasps> in this movie. Remember? Oh, it was yeah. A yeah, 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 yeah. So Chris McClain from Total Drama Island fame uh, is going to be playing. Uh, I, heard, I heard it was going to be more than one character. More than one character? Yeah, um, that's that's at least what because because Four Chan actually predicted this one. Um, oh yeah, Four Chan did predict the, it. They also they also predicted Tommy was so. Yeah, um, I'm excited. Dude, like the more that comes out about this movie, the more like I just can't wait. 
I can't wait. I know. We're going to have I Generation know. 6 to hold us off until then in, in a few months here. But goodness. Uh, like. Yeah. This is an all-star cast. Bring all your friends to go see this movie, Brony or not. Yeah. Like I, I, I know that I, I know that Bronies have mostly taken over the world by now. But if if you know any that still haven't watched the show, like yeah. bring them when to they, this movie. Yeah. Yeah. If they still haven't converted, then take this to take them to this movie. This will be the thing that that pushes them over. Um. Yeah. Do your part in the Brony army. Yep. So that about wraps wraps us up for for general news. As you guys know, we we already um, we already covered um, the news for conventions and such in the last episode. But yeah, um, just to recap, um, um, Donald Trump is actually get um, one of the um, it's one of the special guests at this next convention. Um, Oh shit! Right. Yeah. So he's he's actually gonna be at. Uh, I heard I heard he's got a big announcement at the convention. Yeah. So he he's gonna be at TrotCon uh, in a few weeks here. Um, how, how much you want to bet he's gonna be in the live action movie? Ooh. What if that's what he announces there? Ooh, that'd be awesome! Wow. Because I know he's going. I know he's going to the convention with uh with Hillary Clinton, one of his closest friends. Yeah, so look forward to seeing them there um, at at TrotCon uh, here in a couple of weeks. Uh, me and Robert will both be yeah. there, um, as well as my friend Ben. I've talked about him a thousand yeah. times. Um, but, uh, yeah, we'll we'll be, We're all there. Gonna be there. I'm all, I'm also gonna bring Discord along. Um, uh, okay, because as you all know, as, as you all know, like uh, we we've recently discovered a way to make matter appear in a thin air. So I have my own personal Discord in my closet. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. He so he's he's coming with you. Yeah, he's coming with us. All We're right. gonna get him to roll the Discord dice. Okay, gotcha. Oh, finally! Oh my gosh, the man himself is is gonna roll the die. Um, yeah, I'm excited for that. But um, yeah, so I I think I think that's about everything. I mean, we already mm. went over the tier list uh, earlier this week. Um, when, yeah, yeah. Um, but we actually have an end in sight now that G five has been canceled. Um, I know he yeah. finished the Friendship is Magic uh, tier list a while ago, but um, yeah, but it was like a this G five. We got through the whole yeah because it was like two. It was like two years ago we finished the tier list. Yeah, I think so. Um, oh wow, that was twenty twenty four. That was and since then it's become like the, the 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 like the definitive tier list for everyone. Yeah, I mean we made so many like little little adjustments. Um, people gave us feedback, and we you know we changed things around, but um, we um we're we're gonna actually finally be able to wrap this up now that g5 is canceled um we can we can yeah. finish uh tiering all of the the rest of the g5 episodes that some of them i haven't even watched because the show kind of fell off for me at, at a certain point yeah. like i've kept up with the fandom I'm not, um and i'm not looking forward to finishing g5 yeah um the first the first couple of seasons were were pretty good but yeah anyway downhill yeah, so so that's about it. Um, we will have uh, another episode up um, in yeah. uh, at our next regularly scheduled episode. Yeah. I know it's weird to have two yeah. episodes this week, but we just had to talk about this because this was too yeah. good. Um, yeah, and I yeah, and remember, uh, I remember April thirty first is when Generation Six is coming out. Yeah, um, so funnily enough, April thirty first is also National Brony Day. Yeah, yeah. Um, I remember when that was established. Um, so yeah. yeah, be, uh, yeah. So be looking out for that. Uh, I'm, I'm ecstatic about G6. So we'll be keeping you guys updated on, uh, any news that comes out about that. Um, yeah. If you enjoyed, be sure to hit that like button, hit, hit all those buttons on, uh, on Spotify other than the report button. Um, and question, question of the day. Did we fool you? Probably not. Did we, uh, how long did it take for you guys to uh you probably realized as soon as we started bullcrapping about uh g5 getting canceled um <laughs> but yeah th thanks for <laughs> if anyone actually listened to this whole thing thank you so much this was a joy to make um yeah <laughs> the, we're gonna have so many bloopers later um but 
<laughs> yeah, so so be sure to uh, shout us out on Twitter, out, out of our mains. Use the hashtag mainpod if you can yeah. talk about the podcast. Um, <laughs> Send us a picture of a whoopee cushion, because April Fool's. Sure, yeah, do that. Um, and, uh, yeah, uh, we will be seeing you guys. Uh, sorry, sorry an episode wasn't able to come out this week. Um, there was scheduling issues. Um, yeah. But, uh, but... We hope this makes up for it. Uh, I'm excited to, to talk yeah. about some stuff uh, next week. Yeah, some actual news. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, April Fools, and uh, we'll yeah, we'll... happy April first, everyone. Yep. We'll see you guys. Uh, we'll see you guys next week. Bye bye. Later.